I really shouldn't be expecting much from Twitter. Happy Ultraman Day, everyone. To celebrate, I asked Twitter, or actually I just posted this photo, ask me any Ultraman opinion I have and I'll answer 100% honestly. So this will be either really good or really bad. First off, it's starting pretty bad because the logo is actually the Kaio version of the Ultraman logo and not the official version. So that's really pretty awkward. But I drank a lot tonight. So I guess we'll see how this goes. This is also my second take. Favorite human character in an Ultra series. That's easily gonna have to go to Ide from the original Ultraman 1966 show. Honestly, I just think he's really fun. I, I wish I could expand on that. I wish I could just compare him to like the rest of the history of Ultraman, but I I just think he's fun. I, I think that I think that's all that's needed. <laughs> Do you like Ultraman? No. What makes an Ultra the Ultraist man? I've been staring at this question for like a good 20 seconds. I don't know how to answer that. He's he's tall, I guess. He can step on me. Least interesting, but not necessarily boring series, and why? Okay, I guess I'll have a serious answer for this one. Um, they say not necessarily boring, but this kind of goes hand in hand. I'll just say the least interesting to me is, and I've said this before, maybe too many times, but Ultraman Ginga. I mean, I can't really explain why it's not interesting. Well, I, I guess the day-to-day -day stories just don't grab me. The characters don't do anything for me. I mean, I, I don't know, how, how do you explain, like, not interesting? Um, they don't give me the dopamine I need? I, I guess, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, the, I, I guess I'm gonna go with Ultraman Ginga. Um, not Ginga S, just specifically Ginga, so... Why haven't you been talking slash watching slash covering the franchise a lot, aside from your Shin tweets? And there's a reply under it asking about history of Ultraman videos, like I do with Ryder and Sentai, but those already exist, so um, go watch those, I guess. Mainly it's just because I don't know that much about it, because I could tell you like everything there is about everything in Kamen Rider, but when it comes to Ultraman, not as much. I mean, I have seen a lot of Ultraman, I'd probably say more so than Sentai. I can't be that analytical about Ultraman as I am with like Kamen Rider or Sentai, or I'd say even Garo, that, but that's just me. Like, I would love to talk more about Ultraman, I just don't feel like I can or should. And I don't know, maybe I'm not qualified to talk about it as much as I do with the other stuff. Top 5 Kaiju. So I do have a group of Kaiju I really personally like. I'm probably not five, but I do have a few that I will name off the top of my head, and not in any particular order. Alien Metron, King Joe, Ella King, and that dolphin alien thing from Ultraman X, I guess. What's your opinion on Nexus? Have not seen it. A lot of my comments say I should see it, but I have not seen it. I should probably make time for that. Who do you consider to be the Chad Ultraman? Ultraman Titus. You'll see him in the green screen, and you'll see why he's the most chat. Top G forms. Um, I, I guess I'll say primitive, but like, I, I don't know. G forms don't really grab me. Acro Smasher is kind of cool, but otherwise, uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess primitive. Favorite Ultraman changer. So this goes beyond Ultraman because I love this more than the Kamen Rider and the Super Sentai changer, and even the Garo ones. And the Garo ones have really interesting ones. But my favorite Ultraman changer has to be the. Man, it's my favorite, and I forgot. I have to Google it. I'm, I'm on my computer right now. If you're if you're wondering why I keep looking down, the Ultraman Trigger Spark Lens. Really? So it's not really the sounds that grab me, but I just love the whole concept of this thing. You know, it's a gun, but you like flip it just slightly and it becomes this changer that looks, that's very reminiscent of the original Tiga one. And it just looks really cool. Like, I can't really explain it. I just love this thing. It, I, I, would, I would do so much for one. You have no idea, but it looks really, really cool. Who is the Ultraist man? Ultraman. Best non-kaiju ultra villain. They say I could count aliens, so I guess I'll go with uh, Jugglist Juggler. I just love his dynamic with Ultraman Orb. I love his ongoing story. I love his appearance in Ultraman Z. I just think Jugglist Juggler is one of the coolest villains out there. Not just an Ultraman, but like Toko as a whole. I just think, I just think he's really cool. Like I can't really explain it. I mean, I probably could, but it would take a while. And I, I just love him. He, he, he's amazing. Rube thoughts. So I have discussed Ultraman Rube in length, but I guess to shorten my thoughts, 
I do like Rube. I think it's in my top three. I really love the characters. I love the story. At least the first half, but I think that first half is so good that it just carries all well, the rest of it, and it's just that good. I, I love Rube. Favorite gimmick and henshin device. Sorry talk about my favorite henshin device, but I can go with my favorite gimmick. So this is gonna be really plain because I have talked about how like, I don't really like O's medals because they're just so boring, you know, they're just classic little things, you put them into the driver and that's it. I mean, I guess they look pretty, but they don't beat the Rube Crystals. For one, these actually have playability to them because they look really cool. I love, you can, probably can't even see it, but I love the design, it's very sparkly, very shiny. I mean, they're, and I, I, I think they feel, good to hold as I drop it. I think, I just think they generally look really nice. But if you wanna add on to that, they also flip open for each of the Root Brothers. And on top of that, the special crystals look cool. I mean, I, I like this on its own, but it has light sound and it automatically opens up. In fact, I like the Root Crystal so much, I collected a lot of them. <laughs> Yeah, I, you can tell. Um, these might be my favorite Ultraman gimmicks ever. I, it may not seem like it, because I, I don't know what I said in my Root video, but I really do like these. I, and in fact, they're, they are my favorite Ultraman gimmicks. What is the ugliest looking Ultraman? This is gonna sound weird, because generally, I don't think Ultraman look bad. I, I think they have really cool evolution. I think generally they have neat designs. I think a lot of them look unique in a lot of their own ways even though they're like compared to like the base Ultraman. But I guess the one I like the least is um and I hope this isn't an unpopular opinion but I really don't like G Galaxy Rising. Gamma Miracle or Alpha Edge? So they're talking about Ultraman Z form and personally I like Alpha Edge. I know that's probably like a super boring answer, but I love the colors, I love the designs all, all along the body. Like, the, the other ones are cool too, I do like Gamma, I do like the, the super form and stuff, but Alpha Edge, I don't think anything can beat that, it's just, it just looks so good. What is your opinion regarding 3 minute rule and Ultraman? So I personally don't mind the 3 minute rule, I think it's a really cool story and lore detail, I really like that it has to do with the fighting and that the Ultraman can stay on Earth that long. I think it's a really neat idea in concept, but we see it so often, I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay, it's probably just the obligatory episode where where it's blinking for like five minutes, even though they're like, Ultraman, you're gonna de-transform soon, you better stop, even though it's still blinking, and it just, I don't know, it, it, get, it gets a little overused at times. Have you seen the Hanna-Barbera Ultraman cartoon movie? What? I have not heard of this. I'm gonna do a lot of research after this recording. <laughs> Who has the best grunts in the franchise? Ultra 7. I will not elaborate further. Opinion on Mabius and Nexus. Again, have not seen Nexus. And you can probably tell, I have not really looked at these questions. I'm just going along as, as I see them. <laughs> as for Mabius, um, it does have Baby L King or, or Rim L King. And, um, and, he, and he's pretty cool, so I'm gonna say maybe this is a good show. Opinion about Ginga and Ginga S. Also, it's opening and ending, I suppose. I did talk about Ginga a little bit, so Ginga S. Uh, I don't know, it's uh, it's Ginga, but with uh, with, with an attack team. The opening for Ultraman Ginga, um, Ginga no Uta, is really cool though. I think it's one of my favorite just Toku songs ever. It's so good. Thoughts on with each recent season, the transformation gear is becoming more gimmicky. This is something I see a lot in my comments, especially on the Kamen Rider stuff. You know, the old boomers that are like, oh, the olden days are so much better. They don't have to show all these toys, even though they did, they just weren't in gimmick form. Well, I, I never really minded the gimmick stuff, even, especially in Kamen Rider or Super Sentai. And now that Ultraman is doing more of it, especially with the new gen shows, I, I never minded it. I, it never, they never bothered me. I love the long transformations. I love the sounds. Uh, I know Ultraman Decker is a lot faster, and that might be an answer to, to the lots of gimmick things, but I, I personally don't mind. I mean, I... Well, what, what am I gonna do? Say, oh, it's bad and just not watch the show? And your thoughts on Nexus? Have not seen it. What are your top five favorite Ultra shows? Top five favorite Ultras and top five favorite Ultraman opening songs. I already talked about my top five Ultraman opening songs before, so you can watch that. Top five favorite Ultras? 
I mean, aside from Ultra 7, I can't really answer that. Um, 7, Orb, that, that's about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, no. Top 5 favorite Ultraman shows, though, I definitely can. So these aren't in particular order, except number 1. I absolutely love Ultra 7. I have an Ultra 7 shrine like, right over there. Yeah, I'm not going to show it, but like, I love Ultra 7 to death. It, it's so, so good. But I also really like Ultraman Rube, Ultraman Orb, um, the original Ultraman 66 was pretty good, and I also like Ultraman Ace. I think all those are really good shows. Um, Ace is starting to get more up there for me as I'm watching more of it, but so far those are, those are like my favorite Ultraman. Have you seen Leo? Yes. Ultraman Z's opening song, a banger. Maybe it's his best boy? Yes. Do you think Zero should retire from being the golden child and the spotlight of the series and Zed stepping in as the new golden child? Sure. Sometimes it's weird, but in all the right ways. I don't think they looked at the photo. Ultraman Tiga is kinda mid. I don't think they looked at the photo, and they're wrong. Where should I start with this series? Just like Kamen Rider, whatever looks cool to you. But this one's a lot easier because you can legally watch a lot of it. <laughs> Ultraman vs Kamen Rider. Fun. Ultraman is mostly mid TBH. I don't think they looked at the photo. Tiga, Dina, or Gaia? Um, probably another unpopular opinion, but Dina and Gaia really bored me, so. Tiga. <laughs> Would you rather eat the Beta capsule or the Sparklance, and which capsule monster is the most effable? Um, I would say the beta capsule, because capsule's in the name, and I mean, I, you can probably just like, you know, put it in your mouth. Uh, say, same with the sparklance, but it might be a lot harder, and the beta capsule is really just like, it just doesn't have the lance part of it, so you can easily swallow that. And capsule monsters, um, I think Wyndham's a robot. Yeah, I, probably not, he might just be a robotic looking monster, but Sevenger is also a robot. Um, so I, I guess, um, make less by default? I mean, if you want to count the others, sure, but um, I'm gonna say make less. <laughs> and that's everything. That was also a lot faster than I thought. Um, I'll probably never do this again. Or maybe I will, I don't know. Kamen Rider gets pretty popular, so... Um, happy Ultraman Day! I did this at, uh, 1.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go get water.